Morning. Hello everyone, it's me. Say hello when you pop on. Anybody there? If you're there, say hello. Morning, Carolyn. How are you? Good morning, Dawn. Hello, Sarah. Good morning, Bev. How is everyone today? Are you all well? Lovely sunny day today. If you can um, share this um, live for me, that would be wonderful as well. Thank you. Hello Donna! Morning Alison! How is everyone? Hi Mum, how are you? You alright today? Morning everyone! I wonder if we've got any newbies on today. I'm hoping that some of Julie Hickey's fans will be joining us today, if we're lucky. How is everyone? Are you all alright? All coping okay? Enjoying this lovely weather? OMG! How the hell did he manage to do that? Dad flooded the lounge. Oh God, that's not good. He was filling up the water but and the hose slipped and fell into the lounge. 
Oh dear. That's a bit crazy, isn't it? Right, I have posted, I think I should have posted a link to the uh, products in today's live on uh, on the in the comments. It should be pinned at the bottom if anyone is interested. Oh, dear, dear, dear. What a nightmare, eh? Right, so. Oh, Sarah, don't. You tease. What sort of hot tub have you got? Have you got, um, is it one of the blow up ones or is it one of the, the really posh, the posho ones? Posh permanent ones. I'd love a hot tub. Morning, Gaynor. How are you? <laughs> You're welcome, Alison. It keeps us sane as well. It's nice that we've some, got something regular to 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 focus on every week. <clears throat> so, if I shall I shall crack on. Morning, Peter. How are you? Your order should hopefully be with you today, either today or tomorrow. It went out yesterday, so they're usually fairly quick for local deliveries. Um, right, so this is this is the card that I made uh, the other day. So I'm going to be doing this sort of card, but I'm going to do I'm going to do it slightly differently. I'm going to do different colours, and I'm actually going to do the middle bit slightly differently as well, just so that you've got two alternatives. Uh, and the stamp sets that I've used are the new Julie Hickey stamps. Which are lovely, really liking these stamps. Um, good quality, good prices. Um, and the ones I've used, I've only used this one, which is called Bursting with Flowers. Uh, they have been flying out since we've had them in. But um, I think there are still a few of the Bursting with Flowers um, sets left. They're really nice. And just, you know, you could make a card out of that really if you wanted. Just stamp that. Put a sentiment in the middle, mat and layer it a bit, and, you know, that would be your card. You can make it into a sympathy card, happy birthday card, get well card, you know, all sorts of cards. So I've used Bursting With Flowers stamp set, and I've also used, as you can see, um, the Just A Note stamp set, which has got six sentiments, and they all fit within this little box here. Within the, no, it's not a box, is it? Is it a box? The little window. They all fit within the window. So that's fab. Nice diddy little stamp set there. So that's called Just a Note. Um, there are, I think there's about nine different ones. I think we're, we've sold out of a couple. Uh, I think we've sold out of the fresh floral border for the moment. But I can see us having to do another order. Because I love that one. I'm going to be doing a card on that with that sometime. That one is, I think, one of the older ones as well. So we've got that one in. Uh, I think that's one of the new ones, just because so that's a pretty one. Uh, the floral sprig is a nice one as well. It's a nice, really nice border on that. You could you could frame a card really nicely either side with that. The heart is lovely as well, with all the flowers. So loving the stamps. Um, yes. So I shall put those to one side so I don't get confused. I've already mounted uh, the what's it called? Bursting with flowers, uh, stamp up onto my acrylic block, and you can see they are. I don't know if you can see, but they are a really decent thickness. The stamps as well. They're you know they're not they're not they're not um, low quality, so they are very good. <coughs> good morning, Annette. Morning, Trudy. I think you're on the wrong live. <laughs> <laughs> Trudy's on a different live. But stay with us because ours is much nicer. <laughs> <clears throat> right, so um so if you're new, 
to my to our lives um say hello um you can also just put newbie if you're a newbie and but you don't want to say anything um just be nice to see who's new if we've got any new new people on so this is the card that i'm going to be making today or similar to this um i love craft card craft card is just you know it just makes it look so much nicer especially with the white embossing so i've done white embossing and then i've used uh, pigment ink pads so i've used the harmony opaque pigment ink pads which i absolutely love uh, the colors i've used on this one are actually different to the ones i'm going to be using today the ones i used on this card were pink tulip for the um, palest colour. Uh, then I also used fuchsia and crushed velvet. Um, they are opaque, so they do the colours do um, sit on top of the card and and do show through. Uh, but obviously they they are going to be a little bit uh, I don't know they are going to be a bit subtler. Than if you put it onto to just plain white card. Good morning, Linda. How are you? You're a newbie. Thank you for joining us. Oh, it looks like the other lady's gone. Oh, it's a shame. There we are. <clears throat> right, so I've done a few things already. So I've Got my base card ready, which was basically just a piece of A4 um, craft card, scored down the middle and folded in half. So that was easy enough to do. Uh, and then if I <coughs> show you, this is um, my background layer. So if I show you that for the moment, if you can still see that card there. <coughs> So all I've done with the background layer is I have uh, stamped with my watermark ink pad. You can either use, this is the Spectra Noir one, you could use Perfect Medium or Versamark. Um, wow, do an embossing ink as well. So there's all sorts of different companies, uh, but this is the one that we've got. And I think we've also got some Perfect Medium as well in stock at the moment. So that's on our website. Not sure about the Versamark, but... Um, but we got this one and the perfect medium <clears throat> and then all i've done is i've stamped i've inked the edge of the stamp and stamped just below uh, or just above where the um, this little window is okay so you can just see that i think on you yeah so i've done that twice on one end i've turned it round and i've turned my stamp around as well and then I've stamped twice on the other side, just to give it a bit of difference. I mean, if you wanted to keep it uniform, you could use the same edge of the stamp, it's up to you. Uh, and then I've also done one side there, so I've got one more side to do. So which part of the stamp did I use? I used that side of the stamp for that side. So I will now use that side of the stamp. Yes, that's right. <clears throat> so the first thing I always do when it comes to embossing is I use an anti-static, uh, I think this one's called an, a magic anti-static pad. And it's just a case of lightly tapping on the card just to get some of the powder out. And it just allows, um, just takes away any any fingerprints or any static that's on the on the surface of the card takes that off uh, and then I need to ink that side so I'm just going to ink just the one side with my watermark ink pad just light taps over that And then I'm just going to stamp, making sure that I'm away from the edge of the rectangle there. I mean, if you wanted, you could put the position it so that the rectangles were on there. 
just for a different effect. There we are, so that's that. And that's a nice effect just, just like that, which is why they call it a watermark ink pad, because if you leave that to dry, that would then stay um, darker than the background. And it would leave just like a, a, a watermark effect. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be using some embossing, white embossing powder. So this is the... I don't know why there's little bits floating around on this at the moment. Probably in the powder. <clears throat> yeah, so this is the Cosmic Shimmer... Cosmic Shimmer Detail Embossing Powder. This is the um, True White that I'm using here. It's a really nice, nice embossing powder as well. And then I'm just going to grab my heat tool. Get that heating. Glad you're well, Linda. Are you new, new to card making or just new to watching Facebook Lives? Or just new to us. Right, so I'm just holding the heat tool in one place until the embossing powder melts. And you can see that it melts because it just goes a, a brighter white. So then just slowly work up. So that's all melted and you can see it sort of goes a bit a bit a little bit shiny when it's melted if you can see that or not lovely image nice crisp stamp good morning Val how are you it is a lovely day today isn't it <clears throat> right so that's all I'm going to do on that base piece so that was the piece that I did around here as you can see so that's going to go on the base of my card so I shall leave that aside and then I'll work on my center piece <clears throat> so this piece I'm going to stamp the full image and I'm going to heat emboss that as well Right. Oh, so you're you're a seasoned crafter, then, Linda. Been car making for fifteen years. Where are you from? Where are you watching from? We've got loads of Facebook lives. If you want to watch any of our other ones as well, either on our Facebook page, if you click on the live tab, and um, all the all our previous lives are on there um, or you can watch them on YouTube as well we upload them to YouTube as well so we've got a, a channel on there as well so just adding my anti-static again and I'm going to try and stamp slap bang in the middle <clears throat> my mum has said why do you use the dryer from the top and not the bottom um it as in you probably i assume you mean from underneath the card rather than on top of the card well i use i tend to go from the top because it's a bit quicker you can do it from underneath if you wanted and apparently you do get a smoother um finish but, to be honest, I don't really notice the difference. 
saying. So it's entirely up to you how you decide to do it. Hello, Jill from Blackwood. There are someone localish or local to the shop, anyway. <clears throat> I'll just make sure that that's adhered everywhere. Glad you like the card, and the stamps are lovely. Ah, Linda's from Hull. Welcome from Hull. Or welcome, yeah, welcome from Hull. There we are, so that is on there. And then I'm gonna get my heat tool again. <clears throat> yeah, I've got loads of videos on online. I've done all sorts of things. It's either me and Gavin or Ian is, um, the other gentleman who does Facebook Lives. We've done lots of cards. Ian does a lot of groovy parchment. We've done some mixed media stuff. Home decor. So all sorts of different things. And we've more or less been doing them ever since we've been closed, which was end of March, middle of, no, middle of March, I think. Oh, yes, of course, Jill. So the only thing you need to make sure when you're heat embossing is to make sure that you keep your fingers as far away from the um, heat source as possible. Because it can be quite hot. So you don't want to burn your fingers. Hopefully you can see all of that embossing. Heat embossing never gets old as well, never get tired of it. It's magical every time I do it. What's everyone got planned for the day? Crafting? Walking, gardening, sleeping. <clears throat> I'm not sleeping very well at the moment, so I'm I'm a little bit blur. There we are. So that's that all nicely heat embossed. And you can see it's got a nice sort of a, a glossy sort of finish on there, which is lovely. So now what I'm going to do, get rid of some of this dust on my blending mat. <clears throat> this is the A3 blending mat as well. We've got some of these in stock at the moment as well. So if anyone's interested, they're on, on the website. Just click on the link. And they should be there. <laughs> Hello, Sarah. <laughs> Eating. <laughs> that sounds like a really good idea, actually, at this time. <clears throat> so. Oh, and Alison's making more bears. Uh, she's, yeah, because Alison knits a lot of um, bears. Have you, uh, you've probably seen them on Facebook. The ones with the little face masks. Um, she's done some lovely ones, some really fun ones. 
all sorts of different things and she's selling them for the local food bank to make make money for the local food bank which is a brilliant idea oh another hot tub oh dear all you lucky people with hot tubs although doesn't your paper get wet when you when you're in the hot tub jill Linda said, crafting laundry and still shielding. I'm getting rather bored now. 13 weeks I've been... Oh, I know. Yeah, it does drag a bit, doesn't it? Yes. <clears throat> Those four walls get a bit boring after a while, don't they? Hello, Marilyn. Welcome. Nice to have a new person. Julie Hickey products, they are lovely, aren't they? We've never had them before, but um, I know Hazel uh, from Dragon's Paper Crafts. She, um, she's used them quite a lot in the past. Um, so I thought I'd give them a go and really nice, really liking the designs and they're selling very well in the shop as well, which is good. <clears throat> yes, so, uh, Gaynor's going to hang up more red hearts because she's making red hearts for, uh, people that have sadly lost their lives to COVID in, um, is it the Pont Lottin area, I think? Oh dear, Jill. <laughs> Not the accounting, eh? <laughs> 75 days. Right, so I'm going to be doing some colouring. I'm going to colour my flowers in now that I've done the heat embossing. Um, and because I'm going to be using uh, water-based ink pads, um, the uh, embossed areas will resist, uh, which means that um, you don't have to worry too much about staying within the lines or anything like that. So, the colours I'm going to be using, <clears throat> I've actually picked up some new colours from the shop yesterday uh, because I just need all of the opaque ink pads. I'm sorry, but I just do. Uh, so, I thought this time I'd go with sort of oranges and yellows uh, for the flowers because I went pinks and purples for the, for the first card. So, I thought I'd go oranges and yellows. So, I've got honey pot, orange, Chinese red and grasshopper. So these are the um, the opaque pigment ink pads from Spectrum Noir and anyone that's seen any of my other videos will know I love them. They are amazing. Yes, Pont Lottin. Yeah, Pont Lottin Church. So if you're around Pont Lottin area, uh, pop over to Pont Lottin Church and you'll see all of the um, the lovely hearts that Gaynor and her fellow parishioners have, um, have been making for to remember people which is nice so what i'm going to do i'm going to be using working on my blending mat so all i need to do is just take some of the pigment ink dab it onto my mat and then i'm going to get my water brush <clears throat> and this is uh, you can use any water brush this one is one of phil martin's so it's this one is actually from his um watercolour brush set two and then all I'm going to do is just activate the ink with the water and then I'm going to start colouring and this is when I'm going to go really quiet because I'm going to start colouring and going into my own little world which is a lot better than this one at the moment and it does give quite a subtle finish as the as the color absorbs in because it's obviously on brown craft card, it's going to take on a bit of the, the brown behind as well. But obviously the stronger colours are going to show up more than the paler colours, but it's nice to have a bit of contrast. These are really easy to work with, these ink pads. I do love the opaque ones. 
and they stamp out the the images that you can stamp out with them are so crisp I was really surprised when I first stamped with these on one of my knives as you could probably tell when I stamped it because I was like oh my god it's amazing So just go over that a few times, just to build up some colour. And I'm not um, reloading my water brush at all because you don't really need a lot of a lot of water. If you have more water, then it's going to end up being a bit too a bit too subtle. Uh, and then I'm just going to pick a few other little flowers here and there. This water brush is lovely because it's a nice fine one as well. You get in uh, in set two, you get two of the fine ones. So they're my favourites. Just get a little bit more. I think. Oh, hello, Julie Hickey Designs. How are you? Thank you for joining us. Yeah, I did. I was saying earlier that um, they are really nicely etched, nice and deeply etched, the stamps. So you get a really crisp image, and it does look nice on the craft card with the with the white embossing, doesn't it? I do quite like that. Yeah, I think you've got a few fans watching as well. Hello Louise. Uh, a couple more. I need to use up this colour. It's a lovely colour. This is honey pot this colour that I'm using here. So it's a nice bright and cheerful colour. Thought I'd go with something a little bit different on this one. I haven't got any music playing in the background today. It's just, just the birds singing in the trees. And my wind chimes that are clink, clanking every so often. And the thing about this stamp set as well is you look at it and you keep finding new things that you haven't seen before. So many little details and extra little little flowers here and there. So I just maybe do that one up there. Um, and then I think I'm going to try a different colour now. So I'm going to go on to my orange now. Dun, dun, dun. So I'm just going to get some water through my water brush and get rid of that colour. Onto my trusty towel. Morning, Angela. How are you? Thank you for joining us. So, yes, yeah, so this is the one that is simply called orange. Look at that. Oh. This is going to be a nice, vibrant colour, isn't it? Thank you, Julie. Glad you like it. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to go for the big one in the orange. Ooh, lovely. I do like the stronger colours. 
It's nice to have a bit of contrast, but the stronger colours are nice as well. Thank you, Jacqueline. How are you? I do love, love a bit of craft card. Oh, hello, Hazel. Talk of the devil. We were just talking about you earlier, saying how you love these stamps. And you got, got me to buy... Well, you didn't get me to buy them, but... You did some lovely, lovely things with yours, so I thought I need to get those. Yeah, they are lovely, lovely stamps, aren't they? So you may anyone that follows us on on them um, on our Facebook page has probably seen that I've shared a few of Hazel's um, videos that she's done uh, from Dragon's Papercraft. She's done some really interesting concept um, cards. And I'd love to have a go, but I just haven't got around to it yet. Unfortunately. Nice colour this is, this orange, isn't it? It's lovely. I am liking. What is craft card? This is craft card, mum. Craft card is basically, it, well, it's, it's, it's like a brown card, but it's, um, it's got more of a sort of a, a rough finish, more of a rustic finish um, to it. So they call it craft card. But um, yeah, it's, it's big for weddings um, and, you know, just general car baking as well you could use it for. A lot of um, luggage tags and things like that are made out of craft card. Um, so um, yeah, I do like a bit of craft card. Yeah, hey, Hazel, when you watch her doing her videos with her concept cards, it's like, whoa. <laughs> It's the sort of thing you probably have to to rewatch just to make sure that you get all the measurements right because because I tend to get a little bit lost but then I'm never very good with measurements I tend to just go by eye <clears throat> yeah but I know Hel um, Hazel did a really nice card with well she's done a lovely card with that stamp set which was the fresh floral border um, and I know she's already she's done a really nice card with with that one as well uh, fre fresh floral heart yeah I think that was one of the really interesting ones as well so um, now we've got the stamps we'll have to give it a go Uh, right, uh, Julie's asking about the ink pads that I'm using. Uh, so the ones that I'm using to colour in, uh, they are the Harmony by Spectrum Noir opaque ink pads, opaque pigment ink pads. So the opaque, ugh, the opaque pigment ink pads are very similar to Distress Oxide ink pads. You get the same sort of, because Distress Oxides are, are um, opaque as well, so you get a very similar finish, um, but um, but we like the um, these ones because they retail four ninety nine five pound I think it is um, for an ink pad, whereas I think the distress oxide ones are quite a bit more expensive. So 
if you can find something that's just as good for a lower price, then why not, eh? And I am loving these ink pads. They're really nice, very versatile. They stamp beautifully. I actually stamped the, um, the sentiment in the centre, birthday wishes. That was stamped with, um, with the opaque pigment ink pad. So they do give a really crisp finish. Yeah, I'm quite liking the, the oranges and yellows. It's quite sort of, because it goes quite well with the tones of the, of the craft card, doesn't it, I think? Um, I need to colour some more. Which one else shall I do? Shall I do... Oh, I'm torn. That one or that one? I'll do that one. I hate making decisions. Oh, brilliant. Oh, I'm glad to hear Alison's made um, cards using Hazel's tutorials as well. Share the crafty love, haven't we? Oh, another newbie, Jacqueline Smith. Welcome, Jacqueline. How are you and where are you from? Are they the same ones I bought yesterday? Angela is asking. Same ones what? Are we talking ink pads or stamps? Angela. And I've slept since then anyway, so... There's not a lot of hope that I'll remember what I did yesterday, unfortunately. I think it might have been the stamps, actually, because I don't, don't remember any of the, you buying any of the ink pads. I think it might have been the stamps. You mean to say you haven't used them yet? Shocking. All right, so I'm just going to... another couple of the orange ones and then I think I'm gonna go in with the red so I'm gonna again just put some water through my brush just to get that color out you can wash it under the tap as well if you wanted but I find this way seems to work and I'm going from the lightest color to the darkest color as well so if there's any um, anything left on the on the bristles it's it's not gonna it's not gonna show up Waltham Jacqueline is from where's Waltham Waltham that's a nice name what part of England is that I assume it's England I'm in Wales, but I am English for my sins. Oh, ink pads, Angela. Um, oh, I don't know. I if it was these ones you had. Or was it the um, water reactive ones? I think it might have been the water reactive ones, actually. They, in similar packaging because they're, they're still by um, by Spectra Noir but they're the water reactive ones so um, a bit like a bit like these ones I think yeah the ones that say water reactive dye that's probably the ones uh, those ones um, I don't know if they would show up so well because they're not opaque mm -hmm. um, they're um they're the dye ink pads so they're the colors wouldn't be as strong on um on craft card but you don't have to do it on craft card you could do it on 
on white card and then emboss it in black or but give it a go what's the worst that can happen eh just test it on a little piece of craft card and see how it how it shows up so this is the Chinese red that I'm using is lovely um, ah village near Grimsby lovely yep these ones are probably the other ones that I've been barking on about for ages the opaque ones So you can do water, water, um, watering techniques with them as well because they're they're all water-based inks. Um, but because these ones are a bit more opaque, they've got a they do have a stronger, a stronger finish to them compared to the water-reactive ones. The water-reactive ones are a bit more subtle. They're a bit more like um, distress inks, whereas these the opaque ones are more like distress oxides. It does get very confusing with all these different ink pads, doesn't it? And don't worry about going over the lines, like I said. Um, because I've embossed with the white embossing powder, it will resist. So then what I'll do is, once it's dry, I'll um, just give it a quick buff. And, um, and any ink that's sitting on top of the embossing powder will, will wipe away. Ian's just um, used lemon tonic and ocean blue, two of the water reactive dye based ink pads on craft card. And as you can see, you do get mm. yeah a similar sort of similar sort of finish, slightly um, a bit more transparent. Yeah, slightly more transparent. But um, but yeah, no, you can. It does work. So you get a nice finish with that as well. Doopy doopy doo. Hi Madeline. Uh, blue to a stamp and not use craft card yet. We'll have to wait for the floral stamps in this demo as sold out. Floral stamps sold out. Well this one Unless everyone's ordered it already, um, you should be able to order it on our website. There should be a link at the bottom of this live. If you click on that, it will take you straight to the category that I've set up for today's live. And everything I'm using is listed there. Um, so this is, yeah, this is called Bursting with Flowers this stamp set so I'm using that one and I'm also using the just a note stamp set so I think we've still got them in stock I don't know if maybe you're looking on another website maybe Judy's website is sold out I don't know Thank you, Donna. They are nice colours, aren't they? They go nicely, I think, with the with the brown of the craft card. So 
hope this isn't too boring for everyone watching me do a bit of colouring in. It's a nice simple card. You can do for all sorts of different occasions. It's quite enjoyable as well because it's not too challenging. A bit of colouring. Don't have to be too precise. Just let the stamp do the work. A couple more little flowers. Um, oh, missed a few. Couple there. And there's one little one peeking out here. Oh, apparently it's sold out on our website. Who's been buying those then? Isn't that typical? I specifically use this stamp because we still had, I think we, we still had three left in stock the other day. <clears throat> hey ho oh. well if anyone does want us to reorder the bursting with flowers or any of the other stamps that are sold out um, just let us know and we can do another order it's not a problem one of the wonderful things about um, Julie Hickey stamps and um, sweet honey designs is that the um, the the carriage paid orders are, are relatively low compared to some companies. So um, so it's not a problem if anyone wants us to to order any of those stamps. Oh, Peter's parcel has arrived. Oh, and we put a card in with it as well. We like to try and put a nice card in with a lot of our orders if we can just as a thank you for all your support at the moment <clears throat> and then you can do with it as you will you can use it as inspiration you can give it to somebody uh, so then I'm just going to do a bit of the green now so this is the grasshopper so splodge a bit of that out <clears throat> I think the green is a nice, a nice finishing touch. You've got all the bright colours of the flowers, and it's nice to have a bit of, a bit of greenery in there as well, just to balance it out. Thank you for joining us, Hazel. Glad you enjoyed it. Take care and um, we shall see you soon, hopefully. Ah, Gain has bought her the stamp set. Ah, so you're one of the culprits, are you? <laughs> one of the lucky few that managed to grab hold of it. Because this is the first time we've um, stocked any of Julie Hickey's designs we weren't entirely sure how well they would go because you never never know with a new supplier but um yeah seems to be going really well so I think next time we'll have to buy a few more of each especially if we're going to do carry on doing Facebook lives which we're hoping to do Hoping to carry on doing them even when we're back open in the shop. Don't worry, Mum, I'm sure there's.
plenty of other things that you can buy and and if you wanted us to buy if you wanted us to get that stamp set in we can get the stamp set in again just let me know they're really quick with deliveries as well so it wouldn't take too long to get it back into stock Ooh, I can hear my wind chimes chiming away in the background as well. That's nice. Oh, and Bev's already got it as well. She's managed to get get the stamp set. The lovely Beverly. Yep, it's, it's a, makes a refreshing change that we've actually got um, a company that, that actually appreciates their their stockists because um, quite a lot of our suppliers don't seem to so much. I'm not going to mention any names, but some of them just don't. They prefer to sell on their own websites and sell on television. <clears throat> and do all of these amazing discounts and everything and we never get a look in so it can be a bit of a struggle sometimes but it's nice to have a supplier that supports us because then we support them oh yes because um julie's on Chan, is it Hachander I think you're on tomorrow? I think I've set, set it to record anyway. Thank you for joining us though. And I'll probably be doing another order very soon for your stamps. I'm so just gonna go over these just a little bit more. Just to get a bit of a, a stronger. All right, yeah, there we are. So a chanda tomorrow. Julie is on, showing off the stamps. So don't buy them on a chanda. Buy them from us. Ha <laughs> ha. When we've got them back in stock again, that is. So that's all coloured in now. Ooh, look at that. I do like those colours. Pretty, isn't it? I think I prefer them to the um, my original one, actually. They're a bit more in keeping. But then, that's the thing, you know, you can go with whatever you've got. You can, you can make exactly the same card and just colour it differently. Just do something slightly different. You don't have to make a different card every single time. You could make a whole batch of them if you wanted and then just keep them as um, emergencies. What does everyone think of those colours? Do you like? Right, so uh, where's my top? Here's my top. Oh, I forgot my coffee. Ugh, nothing worse than cold coffee, is there? Ugh. Right. So, don't have a heart attack. But I'm just going to clean my mat up. <clears throat> Quickly, you can mop it up with a piece of kitchen towel or tissue paper or splodge it onto a piece of card and make a nice pretty background if you wanted to. I'm just going to clean it up. So 
so solves about that. <coughs> right, there we are. So then I'm just going to give this a quick blast with my heat tool just to make sure that all the ink is dry. Just a quick waft over because we don't want to remelt the embossing powder or burn it. So just a quick blast just to make sure it's all dry. Like so. And then what I did with the original one, actually what I'll first do, I'll just get a piece of kitchen towel and just, just rub it over. Just to take away any ink that's just sat on the surface. Just to make the design a little bit crisper. And then, yeah, so what I did with the original one was I actually went around and just roughly cut just around the edge of the design. Don't have to be too precise. You know, it looks quite nice like that, I think. Um, just quite vague. Um, just leaving a little bit of an edge around it. So that's what I did on that one. But on this one, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to matte and layer it. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to need to do the sentiment. Um, so that is my backing piece, my background piece that I did. And then I'm going to matte and layer that on top. I could just matte and layer it like that, actually. That wouldn't be too bad. Um, or I could matte and layer it with a piece of coloured card. And the best way to do it is to just try it and see what you think looks nicest. Mm. I'm not sure if that's too much. So I think it's either gonna be the white, the, the mm, white, the um, sort of honey yellow color. Or just on its own. It's quite nice on its own as well, isn't it? And I'm going to raise it up a little bit so it'll have a bit of shadow. What do we think? Yellow? I'm leaning more to the yellow than the orange. So I think the orange is a bit too strong. Or do I go without any colour at all? Oh, everyone's liking the yellow. Yeah, I think everyone's liking the... I'm going to go with yeah. with the consent, general consensus, I think, because I can't make up my mind. So before that, I'm just going to stamp my sentiment. So I'm just going to grab my trusty press to impress. And if anyone's interested, we do have these, a couple of these in... Well, as of earlier, we did have some in stock. So unless everyone's bought them, we should still have some of these in stock. <clears throat> and the reason I'm using this is just because I'm stamping onto um, my finished piece and I don't want to make any mistakes. I don't want to um, miss any pieces. Um, and I might need to ink up a couple of times just to give it a nice strong look. Uh, so I use birthday wishes on that one. I got thinking of you. That's nice, isn't it? Happy birthday. Just a few. I think I don't like using doing thinking of you because it's always a bit. Especially, especially for you. <laughs> sympathy. It's more towards sympathy, isn't it? Oh, I don't know which one to go for. Yeah, because it would, would, not, would look nice as a sympathy card, really, wouldn't it? But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do... I'm going to go happy birthday. Let's go... Let's go for good old happy birthday. 
So the only thing you need to remember when using your stamping tool is to make sure that the um, stamp side is facing down. So with some with the word stamps, you can actually read it properly. And then the back of it is the sticky bit. So make sure that's lined up. Bring my lid over, grab hold of that. And then I'm going to use, I think maybe the orange. We'll try the orange. I'm just going to ink that up in the orange. Light taps. You can see it's opaque because of the um, how it looks on the stamp as well. Yeah, and then just bring that over. Because this is quite a, an intricate stamp because it's just a little ditty one. Don't want to press too hard because you might end up squishing it too much. And that's just one impression with the opaque. Oh, isn't that amazing? Just gets me every time. <laughs> little things please little minds, they say, don't they? Then if you can see how crisp that is, but that is, that's perfect. Don't even need to do another one. <clears throat> And it's nice in the orange because it, it all tones in then with um, with the other colours that I've used. So I'm just going to give this a quick clean. Water-based inks, so easy enough to clean. Go to a quick spritz with my spritzer bottle and just wipe it. that away so press to impress that is brilliant tool <clears throat> so pop that back onto there I don't know if this one is still in stock whether everyone that's bought the, um, the bursting with flowers stamp set has also bought the just a note stamp set as well because they go lovely together What do you mean, Mum? Bigger fools watch on. I don't understand. <clears throat> right, so if anyone does want the Bursting with Flowers stamp set, um, or any of the other stamp sets that have sold out on our website, just let us know, um, and we can, we can order those. Give me, a, give me a good excuse to, to do another order. So I'm just going to, I'm going to mat, I'm going to put, um, stick this onto my base card and I'm going to stick it on with foam tape just to give it a bit of dimension. If I raise it up a little bit then it'll, um, it just gives it a little bit of a shadow. Nice big roll of foam tape that we got here. This is the stuff that we get from Sticks 2. We don't tend to keep it in stock in the shop, but um, we tend to do it do it to order. So if anyone ever wants any big rolls of foam tape or big rolls of foam pads, because we do the big rolls of foam pads as well. This is quite a small roll now use quite a bit of it. I don't know why Phil Martin doesn't use this foam tape because he goes through loads of it on his demos. There we are. 
Uh, oh, oh, right. Oh, yes. little things please little minds and bigger fools watch on. Oh, I don't think I've ever heard that. Yeah, I have, but I haven't. I forgot what you had said before. <laughs> yeah, I'd forgotten what I'd said before as well, so. <clears throat> I blinked since then. Ah, oh, there we are. You learn something new every day. Full saying his little things please little minds, bigger fools look on. Yeah. Which foam tape is it that you wanted, Donna? Is it um which one is this, Ian? That's one mil. Is that one mil or two mil? It's one mil. It's one mil, is it? Yeah. That's two mil. Yeah, my foam pads are one, a two mil. All right, this is the. Is it's probably about a centimetre wide, I think, <coughs> by um, a millimetre in thickness. <coughs> I don't know if that's the one you've had before, Donna, or if it's a different one. Do you know? I may be able to find out if I look in the book. And I'll be doing a, a sticks to order um, at the beginning of June, because there's some other things we need to order anyway, so. <laughs> I've been upstairs crafting as well. Yes, I think Ian's been making a birthday as, card for somebody. As long as there's no nobody's watching. I don't know. He's hijacking my Facebook Live as well. That was sorry. That was the one card, and then that's the other one. I've just been doing it. I don't know. Hijacking my Facebook Live. Right, so stick that on there. The roll isn't as big anymore. Uh, and then I will stick. I think I'm going to stick that onto the yellow. my high tack glue give a nice firm finish I tend to go to this more than the all-purpose these days I just love it so I think this um, the topper that I did here I just cut it to um, A6 size, so 105 by 148, and then all I did with the mat, the yellow mat, was I just did it um, five millimeters bigger, just so there's a two and a half millimeter border all the way around. Make sure that's all stuck down. The B. Loving this glue. <clears throat> Make sure my card is open in the right way. And then I'm going to just use some foam pads or no, I was, no, I'll just use the foam, I think, foam tape. Because I yeah, I used foam pads on the other one, but I didn't have it square on that one, so I'll just Use a bit of the foam tape on this. Ah, you missed Ethan's, but you'll see it later. Yes, we'll be up later. We'll be up later. Ian was on about walking up, but I... We might. Don't know, we'll have to see how we feel. <laughs> it's a lovely day, but... <clears throat> One form of exercise a day. I don't know if I could cope with that today. <clears throat> After the night's sleep I had last night. 
It's a good question, I thought. Yes, the high tack glue is fab. And the thing I love about it as well is the fact that it's got the um, the bung at the top is um, it's like a rubber bung. <clears throat> so it gives a completely airtight seal. So the the um, the nozzle never clogs. Ever since we've had it, it doesn't matter how long it's been sat there, it never clogs, which is a big plus for me. I hate it when glues clog. Mm -mm. There we are. So let's take the backing off of that. <clears throat> Anyone got any questions? Anything they missed? And a lot of our um, customers um, know about our new um, Facebook group that we've recently just set up called Valley Crafters. Uh, so basically it's a group where anyone that's bought anything from Valley Craft um, can post their makes. So I'll be putting these on a bit later. And it's just a way of, it's a bit of a community. <coughs> And we can share inspiration and um, things like that. But it's only for our customers. So um, a bit like Phil Martin with his Sentimentally Yours group. It's only for people that um, use Sentimentally Yours products, obviously. Which I think is fair enough. <clears throat> so if anyone wants to join the group and you want to you post... You want to post pictures of um, products, anything that you've made using our products, then um, feel free to um, apply. <clears throat> so there we are. Uh, Donna said, it's really hot today and if you haven't slept, I wouldn't advise that long trek. Yes, I totally agree, Donna. I think I that is the best Definitely the most sensible idea. He's walking. <clears throat> well, Ian can walk on our drive. <laughs> what inks yeah. did you use and the card, is it watercolour? Um, the card is not watercolour card, it is craft card. Uh, Louise. So um, it's the craft card that we sell in our shop. or It's just a normal craft card that you can get from any or most craft shops. Um, and so it's not a watercolour card, but um, but it does take, because you're not using a hell of a lot of water anyway, um, it's just ba mainly the ink, it's, um, it, it copes very well. <clears throat> and I think this one is, a, is 300 gram anyway, so you need, a, you need probably a 300 gram uh, card for that. And the inks that I have used are the um, Spectrum Noir... Harmony Opaque Pigment Ink Pads, which are my absolute favourites. <clears throat> so I've used Grasshopper for the leaves. I've used Orange, Chinese Red and Honey Pot. <clears throat> so that's what I've used on this card. And the colours I used on the last card were Pink Tulip, Fuchsia and Crushed Velvet. So that was on that one and then that was on that one <clears throat> there we are and then I just used a water brush um, and my blending mat just put the ink onto the blending mat and then use my water brush to apply it onto the card <clears throat> I have the Spectrum Noir watercolour ones. Would they work the same? Spectrum Noir watercolour. Was it the watercolour ink pads? If it's the watercolour ink pads, like the, the water reactive dye based ones, um, then that does work. I don't know where I've. Oh, there we are. <coughs> we did a little bit of a 
a little bit of a test on the craft card. Um, so it does give a bit, little bit more of a translucent finish um, compared to the opaque ink pads. But, um, but yeah, you could use those as well. No reason why not. You just get a slightly subtler finish probably. <coughs> thank you everyone. Thank you Donna. Thank you Jacqueline. Um, so there we are everyone. So that's me done for the day. Um, Ian will be back on, on Friday. I think this Friday it's Craft, craft Along, along day so um don't know if he's made any decisions on what he's doing yet but um but yeah ian will be doing craft along so we'll post more details about that later on um and um the julie hickey stamps that i've used i've used the bursting with flowers and the just a note um i think the bursting with flowers we were out of stock at the moment because <coughs> i think they've all gone this morning uh, but if anyone does want us to order them, we can do. Not a problem at all. Just let us know um, in the comments or send us a message on Valleycraft just to say which ones you want. And, um, and we can do an order and then they should be in very soon. So thank you for joining us, everyone. Thank you, Gaynor. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you, Alison. All right, and Alison, just so you know, Ian managed to get your um, craft yes. artist glue glaze open. He managed to sort that out for you. <coughs> so we'll bring that in, um, and then next time you come up to the shop, you can you can have it back. All right, so that's me signing off for the day. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. Um, and um, anyone that places any orders, we'll pop some cards into your... Um, into your bags or boxes uh, we'll be back in the shop next monday from 10 till 12 to do contactless store pickups so place orders on the website for free contactless pickup from the shop um, we also do deliveries as well um, so um, so anywhere in the uk um, delivery up to 40 pound is 2.99 or free delivery over uh, 40 pounds Thank you, Peter. Enjoy your um, goodies. Uh, Louise, do you, do you do glossy accents? We don't do glossy accents, but we do do um, an alternative, which is called... Um, it's... Oh, what's it called? Um, it's called Anita's, it's from the Anita's brand. Oh, what's it called? Can't remember what it's called. I don't know what it's called. Oh, there we are. <coughs> Just clear found it. Gloss. There we are. Anita's Clear Gloss. That's the one that we do. So if you, um, it should be on the website. Best thing to do is just search for it. Just typing, um, I don't know if it's under Anita's or Clear Gloss. And it comes with an extra fine nib, this one does. So um, yeah, so that's the one we do. And it's exactly the same as um, Glossy Accents. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Carolyn. Thank you, Alison. Thank you, Angela. <coughs> So thanks everybody, um, uh, and we shall see you soon. All right, take care everyone, bye.